Hello guys, welcome to my first let's play. Today we play Mountain Blade Bannerlord and I'm so excited because I've waited for this game uh, for eight years and I've played Warband a lot and back in the day I was like oh my god this game with better graphics, some more advanced mechanics that would be great and here it is. I've played three hours and I'm I was so impressed by the game even if it's early access so let's get in we start a new game i will show you the cultures the character customization all of this and we will together experience the game when you got something to admit because i don't know a lot of this uh, about this game about trading fighting uh, fighting tactics just bring it into the comments i will read everything and so we can improve the game experience uh, the six cultures. You got the Vlandians, which are mainly a Western European culture. Like it, I think they see, uh, they seem to be like something like the English culture in the medieval. And I will go for this because I like the typical English medieval uh, type of experience. The Sturgians are like um, a Nordic tribe. They, I think, are pretty good in defending. On their own territory but not in uh, advanced fighting against cavalry and something like this. I think the center of the story is about the empire. The empire is something you can see on the picture with these old temples. Seems to be a copy or is inspired by the Byzantine empire like the early um, uh, like the late Rome, Eastern Rome it seems to be pretty cool as well. The Batanians seem to be a Scottish-Irish forest tribe. Also interesting when it goes about ambush and defending their own territory and uh, fighting on the ground. The Crusades, I really hope I pronounce it right, uh, are like a Mongol tribe. You can see on the picture, like on the tents and something like this, and on the horse, it seems to be the Mongol tribe. The Asarai seems to be like desert, nomadic, uh, you, you can read it here, uh, a mixture of nomadic Bedouin and settled oasis farmers, like uh, the Zarazines are an Arabic tribe in the medieval. Also pretty interesting. So it seems to be... Um, there are is a lot of um, different factions, and I think there are more than you can choose here. I'm not sure, but we will see. Um, so you also got from each culture different houses and clans, um, especially on the empire. What I see at the moment, or what I saw, is that you got different clans, and they f form the empire. As a, as a great, great faction. Yeah. Let's get started. Uh, I like to have a male with some higher. I uh, don't want it to switch too much because um, when I, in the first, uh, my first experience with the game, I changed a lot of the cheekbone and ear shape, something like this. And it turns out to be a mess. He looked really bad. Even in the character customization, he looked good. So I keep it like this and ju just change the hair and the beard. Um, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. For me, he can look like Gerald from The Witcher. <laughs> I don't know how many people got the same idea. Also pretty cool. Let's get down. <laughs> no, that's too wild. Let's go with this. Now a nice scar, maybe. Yeah, from an old fight. From his first bad experience with the blades and the fight. Okay, let's get... 
let's get into the, the background, the backstory of your character. You can choose uh, from the backstory your skills. I'd like to be um, pragmatical and take the things I want, not the nice backstory, because it doesn't matter, I think, in the future. Skill with forces writing is pretty exp um, pretty important because you waste a lot of time on the back of a horse. And I will fight on the back of a horse because in the beginning you got no chance against cavalry. Medicine also pretty important. I'm not a two-handed two-handed fighter. I'd like one hundred with a shield, tactics bow, hunting small gate, I'm okay. Let's go with this. Mm, road with the scouts. Now we got some good bow mechanics, some good riding. Uh, we just ignore the social and intelligence hub. I'm so sorry for this dumb dude, but we need a good fighter. You can really start as a good bowman, I see. This is important, but I also need some one-handed mechanics. Uh, experiences, okay. The subdue the radar. Yeah, let's go with this. So, typical for my account. I call him Gothar. I like a realistic, normal experience. Map movement for speed, recruitment difficulty. Yes, let's go with this. Sounds good. I like at the game that you the sandbox style and the the thing that you can start as a normal person in this whole world that you be. Uh, um, one person in a million, you know what I mean? That's why I'm keeping to play on normal mode and realistic because I want to really feel the atmosphere of the game. Uh, I played a tutorial. Uh, it's pretty boring, so we skip this. I'll, I know the grand mechanics. Okay. So I really shall break um, because I have to look at the streams. I think my family name should be Lazarus. Go to Lazarus is a pretty cool name. Ah, uh, the banner editor. Okay. As you can see, you got a lot of uh, editing tools. Uh, you can increase the size, change the background and single color. Um, but in the past, I took just the white rose at the black screen. I want to keep it simple. S sometimes it's too much. Actually, I'd like to have a wolf, but the wolves look kind of strange look at this fishy thing <laughs> also the dragon is look pretty weird mm, okay let's go with the rose so this is your clan tag but when you uh, hi when you get hired by a faction it switches to the main colors of this faction so i think i will get a red background with a golden rose. Seems to look cool as well. So, welcome to the game. In the beginning, you're just one person who, in this whole world, we, you always start in the center at the, in the, at the training field with all these factions around. I want to go in the western area and look at those uh, western cultures like the, the English lion or the French rose. Uh, yeah, the French flower. I like to go there. 
But before we go there, we should recruit some men because there are a lot of looters in the in the area and we have to recruit some troops. Otherwise we got looted and killed. Okay, look at those mountain bandits, you can see, as you can see. So we are five men. I need some I need some butter, I need some cheese as well. Just to just to um, uh, feed my people, otherwise it becomes uh, a moral mess when the people are hungry, uh, they will leave your party. So that's the that's the negative part. So you always have to keep feeding them. Uh, mm, this symbol means that this person with influence got uh, got a task for us. Deliver the herd to Fukon. <laughs> You also see it's like a Latin Greek culture, like the Byzantinian one. Tell me how I can help. 12 sheep in Fikaon. Okay, I hope I pronounce it right. No guarantee. I will make a lot of pronunciation mistakes. Even in English, that's not my native language. Okay. So this is the normal speed. I look in the inventory. We got now 12 cheap in the inventory. We can bring them to the next village. But the main goal is to bring them to Fukon. Uh, 18 looters, I can't stand this. They will kill me instantly. Also buy some grain, some cheese. Recruit troops. I can I can recruit 20 at the moment. And here's uh, what I have to pay them. And this is the this is the uh, our speed. Our money and what they will cost me. Leave the quest. I got four days to deliver the sheep. And I got one focus points. There are two types of skill points. On one side are the attribute points. Where you can improve the sight. And this will improve the whole skill tree on this side. The skill arm. And on this side, you can improve precise skills into the skill tree. Mm -hmm. I got one. And I think I will use it for, for riding. Because I'll have to ride a lot with my horse. Let's get our first money yeah 18 people are following us affect them when i am at 15 people i try to attack those groups okay so what you can see here is that there's a noble and i like to talk to them because of the main quest have to uh, fight against um i have to talk to 10 nobles because of the artifact we got. But he has no, he's not a noble, as I can see. Because otherwise we should have a golden asking bar. Yeah. Let's go there. We really have to recruit some people. In the beginning, they are pretty weak and can't stand a fight against trained bandits. But pretty fast, they get improve they improve their skills, and you can upgrade them in different ways. Um, basically, most of the time, it's in this area. The recruits can imp can be improved and upgraded to the melee side, the melee soldiers, or the bow and archery soldiers. So let's 
Okay. No. I don't want it to open the trading window. I want to take a look who I have to deliver the herd to. Orachos stew bones. Okay. Where he is? There he is. Let's talk to him. Nice. We received 400 gold. It's at, the, at the beginning, it's pretty mu uh, much. And we got 1,010 gold. And that's not enough to start the training. Ah, oh, we can go for a fight if you want. But he got a task for us. Family f for it. Okay. One of my relatives fell victim to his temper during a quarrel and killed a man of from Spotia. We have offered to pay blood money, but the family of the deceased have stubbornly refused it. As it turns out, the deceased is kin to Ascarius of Spotia an elder of this region, and now the man of Spodja has sworn to kill my relative. Okay, so sometimes you get some tasks which is pretty difficult because when I accept the offer, I could, it turns out to be um, that I can be a criminal. Um, uh, but I will take this one because I don't want to fight for the Empire. Otherwise, I will go. Anyway, I will go uh, in Western and um, to Flandia. That's why I take it. Then, Rory, I will protect your relative. What What is pretty cool when you get a companion, and we will. Uh, we will recruit one in the future. You only have to, you, you can let him there with five men and he will make the mission automatically. That's so cool. Maybe you can leave one of your area. Okay, don't worry, I'll protect your relatives for 500. Okay. We leave the town. Look at the quest. Let's go into the next village. Let's go there. Ah, uh, there they are. But they just sold cheese and something. I have to go there. Maybe it turns out that I have to fight them. We will see. But at first, I will start to save the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> at first, I will recruit from them, and then will I kill them? Uh, which I have to talk to. <laughs> Is curious. Hello, boy. Let's have a little talk. Okay. I skipped too much. I'm so sorry. What did I do?
what I have to do. I don't know. Okay. It turns out that I have to... Um, that I have to head a better... Okay, it's just failed. Oh, nice. I needed more charm skills to talk to them that I that I can convince him not to fight against the other village. Okay, let's 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 take another task. Oh guys, yeah, it's our first our first match. Surrender or die. Just against some bandits. Uh, it could be really difficult. I just got recruits. Okay guys. Don't get infected. Oh, these guys got slaughtered. I'm pretty sure, like 17 recruits against 17 bandits. I think the bandits are more, more trained. We will see. Ah, uh, here they are. But I got no chance. I got no chance. I just... Good, 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 good. Okay, I really got no chance. They need to win the fight. I got a bow. Nice. Ah, oh, the enemy is fleeing. Um. And here comes my part. The part of an unhonored knight. Who shoot back, uh, shoot arrows in the back of the fleeing people. What a scumbag. But I need to stay in training. And I gained a level. It, the game is... The game honored my disrespectful behavior. Stay here! I want to shoot you in the back. Come on, guy. Ay, I'm so sorry. So this was our first fight. Nice. Good job. Then you press tab and the the end of the battle screen appears. You gained, uh, we gained some renown and we gained some moral. Uh, we got our first prisoner, a looter. Look at this. He, he not died and... Okay. I just take all. Maybe I can use something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. More weight, more body armor. And this ugly head. No, thank you. So guys, this was our first experience with the game. Uh, I will continue. So if you like it, um, just activate the bell and subscribe to, subscribe to my channel. I will play this game a lot in the future, upload some videos. And if you get any tips for me to improve my gameplay and experience, maybe some graphical uh, improvements, maybe the sound is not what you what it means to be, just write into the comments. I will read everything. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. See you next time.